Hello there, this is just a quick video about a small problem in iOS, but it's been distressing me more than it probably should do, um, especially since Apple is a company that's, you know, a great company that's famous for its user experience and perfection in its design. So yeah, it might seem like a tiny thing, but I thought I'd talk about it anyway. And if you've noticed the same thing, maybe you have, please leave a comment. Um, so yeah, when you open the clock app on your phone, you can set alarms and timers from there. And since both of those features are set from the same app, you would naturally expect them to work in the same way and for there to be some cohesiveness about the way they work. However, uh, it's not so. So when the timer goes off and your phone is locked, this is the screen you see, there's a big yellow stop button in the middle and repeat is in small at the bottom in gray. Uh, but although there's nothing wrong with that, when the alarm goes off, um, the screen will show up with this display. And as you can see now, the stop button is in the other place. It's at the bottom in small and gray. And at the top you have um, snooze in big and yellow. And yeah, the frustration here is that like if you use your phone for remembering things or for waking up or cooking or whatever, you're setting alarms and timers frequently, then you do develop a little bit of muscle memory. So if I go to grab my phone to stop the timer, half the time I'm hitting repeat instead, and it repeats the timer, and then I have to um, like go into the app to cancel it again. So that's just a small little inconsistency, and it's not really ideal. Um, but that's actually not all, because if the phone is unlocked when your timer goes off, you actually get a notification banner from the top, and you can drag down on that, and you'll see you get those two options, stop and repeat. Whilst there's nothing wrong with that, if you compare it to the alarm banner, the same thing, but stop is in the other position. Um, and not only that, but the alarm banner has these cool little symbols next to the uh, options, which is pretty nice. And for some reason, those are not uh, featured on the timer banner. So you, you could have the same little stop symbol, and maybe you could have a different little symbol for the repeat option. Um, and then that would be nice and consistent, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, that's the end really of my critique <laughs> of Apple today. It is obviously a minuscule thing, but in a way that serves as a testament to Apple's general brilliance in its software. Uh, the fact that I would be bothered enough to sit down and record a little video about it. Um, anyway, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you had the same problem, then leave a comment. And if you have other little problems with iOS or little flaws you'd like to see featured, then please tell me about it. And subscribe for more pernickety content. <laughs> Thank you.